Hello everyone and welcome to another Lawman Adventure. This video is so bright I had to wear my shades. In this video my wife and I meet up with one of my best friends from high school and his wife and we travel to New Orleans and, and board the Carnival Glory for a seven day Halloween cruise to Key West, Florida and the Bahamas. Before we get to New Orleans, I wanted to share something that uh, me and my wife found quite by accident. Uh, we were traveling south on Interstate 55 in Mississippi and just north of the Louisiana state line, I saw a sign that said Leonard Skinner crash site eight miles. So I had to go check it out. The memorial is in a very rural area on Easley Road, just off Mississippi Highway 568. If you're down that way, go check it out. In New Orleans, we started our day in Jackson Square in front of a large statue of the man himself, Andrew Jackson. We then visited St. Louis Cathedral. It's the oldest cathedral in uh, the continental United States that's in continual use. Um, from there, we toured the French Quarter where you can see an old house used by a witch's covenant and once owned by Nicolas Cage, as well as the home of infamous Madame Delphine Laura Lee, who tortured and murdered the slaves on the third room floor of her building. It's a gray building and in the video on the top floor, you'll see one of the windows that's all blocked in. And we were told by a guide that that room has not been touched since back then. They keep it boarded up. So now whether that's true or not, I don't know, but supposedly it's haunted and there's a statue of Madame Laura Lee uh, behind some bars in front of that that building, but you'll see that in the video Okay, I want to stop the video for just a moment to tell you that back in the 90s, I was a huge fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme, and one of my favorite movies back then was Hard Target. And one of my favorite scenes in that movie was when he comes out of that restaurant and he folds back his, his uh, jacket like he's going to reveal a gun and he shows his leg and then he proceeds to kick the, the tails of the, the bad guys. Well, when we were down there, I actually found that, that restaurant 
Now the building doesn't look the same. It's got some graffiti art on it and such, but but anyway, I did find it and it is located at 2100 Chartres Street and the spelling of that is C-H-A-R-T-R-E-S Street. And here's a clip of the scene from the movie I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna show you the building. Our first port of call was in Key West, Florida. We walked down the famous Duval Street and saw the purple house where the infamous Robert the Doll used to live. He's supposed to be the most haunted doll in America. We then visited Fort East Martello Museum, current residence of Robert the Doll. But unfortunately, I didn't get his picture.
Halloween night, there was a costume party at sea. I had the bright idea to go as a plague doctor. You know, because of COVID and all. My wife went as a plague nurse. Well, the ship was at capacity. So it was very crowded and hot. And on top of that, my mask kept fogging up. And I could not see. Perhaps not the best idea for a costume on a tropical cruise. We're in Bimini, on the island of Bimini. Here we go. Ha <laughs> Got me. I was waiting on that. Oh. Woo! Okay. Yeah, it start coming in. It's not doing 4K video.
gonna stop the video here to point out something. As we ride through the this very nice neighborhood with homes owned by wealthy foreigners, I want you to notice the sharp contrast between these houses and the houses of the locals when we get to their area. Now you will know we're getting close in the video when we go under a concrete arch and go over a speed bump making our wives scream. What you're about to see are the ruins of a famous motel built in 1935 called the Complete Angler. Notable people such as Ernest Hemingway and Lucille Ball stayed there. In 2006 there was a fire and the owner perished while trying to save the life of a guest. Weird looking.
Our last stop on the video was in a city called Freeport. It's the Grand Bahama Islands. Uh, it's in an industrial area and there's nothing nearby. So this is the only time that we actually took an excursion and we, we waited too late and we picked not a very good one. It was on a tour bus and it took us to some, <laughs> to looking at dilapidated houses, which was a waste of time. And it took us to a nice beach, but we only had 30 minutes. We didn't even have time to swim or, or lay out and enjoy the, the sun or the beach or anything. So I, luckily I got a few shots of the beach. Um, we then went from there. Uh, we went to one place that gives shops to eat. They give us an hour, but, but we didn't even get our food in time, so we didn't get to eat there. Uh, we finally went back to the pier. We got to spend a little time there. They had some really nice gift shops. That was the highlight of the, that, that port. They had nice gift shops, and there was even a ship there that was owned by Jimmy Buffett called the Margaritaville, and you'll see that in the video. And uh, next time I go, I will either book a different excursion, or if we ever get to go back, but a different excursion, or I'll stay on the ship and just uh, shop there at the pier. So anyway, good luck if you go to Freeport. I'm sure it's a nice island, but just different excursion next time.
the last two nights at sea were, were really entertaining. We uh, we got to dress up on a formal night. Um, the the uh, waiters did a little dance party for us, a little dance out there, and they, they entertained us. You'll see that in the video. We had a, a 80s rock party on the deck by the pool. That was, my wife really enjoyed that. That was neat. And then they did a rock concert kind of thing in the... Uh, the uh on stage so that was real nice and then we got to listen to the soothing waves there was a, uh, kind of a small storm i got that on video and then i've even got some flying fish on video you'll see so and all that was real nice and then uh then we returned to new Orleans at the at the end of the video so anyway hope you enjoyed the rest of the video Yep.
hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was different from my normal videos, and I hope to have my normal, like my normal truck videos and motorcycle videos uploaded soon. Um, hopefully, I'll get to get out there more, you know, when things slow down a little bit. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, this is Lawman signing off.